Hey guys, this is me again. Um, today I'm going to be doing the peacock look. Um, I'm doing it in my bedroom, so hopefully you could see the colors. Um, I did it on this side already just so I could um, take a little bit of time. It might be a two-part video because I don't. I want to be able to download it um, good because it takes a while for me to download. Um, so I primed my face with um this this has been on youtube i don't know if some of you have seen it but this is they say it's monistat but it says from the makers of monistat but it's supposed to be like a chaff is a chaffing relief powder gel for the inner thigh or the bikini area it's like a skin protectant and the same ingredients that is in here is in the face primers that we use like um that's the primers are something that you put before the foundation to make it last longer and to smooth out you the any lines or any things so the foundation could go on smoothly so um I've been seeing this a lot on YouTube and I just decided to buy it and try it out so I put this all over my face and then I put um the mineral foundation uh, from Maybelline's and I put this in nude. this is a nude and um, as my blush I put NYC in first sunrise and it's like this and I just bought this today it's from Physician Formula it's um, baked tan it's really cute. It reminds me of the MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish. It's that that dome look. It's really pretty. So I put that as a contour. Um, and for my lips, I bought this today as well. I put from Wet n Wild 567A. It's like... um. I have the color, but it's like a nude color too. It's like brown. Comes like this. And then I put that on my lips. And on top I put from Wet n Wild uh Diamond Brilliance. It's like a pearl color. Pearl pink. 611. So I put that in the middle. So let's get started. Um, and what you see there, I don't know if the light is good enough, but it's like diamonds I added. And I got this look from this magazine page. So I try to do something. And I hope you like it. So on my lid and bra bone, I put on... I have the Wales palette that I got on eBay. And I put E450, which is this color. With um, Maxine's Mop 270, this is the um, half. I put it all over my eyelid and my brow bone. And then I see that it has a little bit of brown, so I'm going to put um, NYX in orange. I'm going to be using the mixing medium a lot. This is actually um, glycer um, glycerin mixed with uh, purified water, and it just makes the color vivid and makes it last a little longer. So it makes the color brighter. So I mix the I put um I add the mixing medium on my brush first and then I add it onto the um eyeshadow. So I go like that. And then um oops, wrong eye. I just put a little bit of that just so it could show because it wasn't that much.
Okay. Then I wipe it off with my tissue. And then I took purple from NYX. And this is Maxine's Mop 3 8. And I wet it with the mix and medium. And I added, put too much. Um, I've added the purple on the middle of the lid. It's gonna look a little messy, but you can leave it like that for now until you fix it. And then I'm adding from MAC, this is electric eel to the outer corner. I'm not putting the mixing medium with this one just because it's vivid and bright already. It's dark, so I don't need it. And then I put it on, on my crease and a little towards the inner. Okay. It's late, but. I wanted to get this done because I don't have time to do this and I know I said I was going to do it a while ago. I'm not going to blend it too much because I just wanted to be bold and show a lot. So um, after that, let me see how many minutes it has. Okay, it has seven minutes so I'm going to go to part two. And I'll see you in a bit.